Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Father Sass Christian Fellowship Online Service. Uh, before we get into the Word this morning, I wanted to share a little bit about where we are at as a church and what's been happening behind the scenes as well as um, some of the things you might be aware of. We've, we've had a, an awesome uh, broader leadership meeting this week on Zoom where we had uh, our leaders um, within the church uh, and just updating them um, on, on things that have been happening on staff level, on leadership level, and um, in obviously in response to the, the, the lockdown, the COVID-19 regulations and everything that's happening around this virus. And I thought it'd be important that I communicate some of these things to you so that everyone is um, in the know and has got a little bit of background um, information. So one of the things that we've worked really hard on um, in the last couple of weeks was firstly to ensure that we're in, in contact with our community. And, um, and obviously, you know, the church is the one entity that provides spiritual, well, um, spiritual care and spiritual input into the lives of people. We government um, has, has got a role to play in society in providing security and, and other, other things. Um, the church is the, is the one entity that actually focuses on the spiritual well-being. And so we wanted to make sure that everyone in our church receives the Word of God. And therefore, we set up these platforms like Facebook and um, YouTube. We've also set up a, a WhatsApp broadcast, broadcast list. And I've no, I know I've mentioned this a few times, but uh, if you're not receiving WhatsApp from us, please let us know. Uh, one of the ways that we can communicate to you via WhatsApp is by having this broadcast list. And, um, and it's quite an easy way to communicate. Uh, however, in order to receive uh, communication via the broadcast, you have to have the following number that uh, we're going to display now on the screen. You have to have this number in your phone because when you have it in your phone on your list, then um, it enables me to add you to the broadcast list so that you can receive. So I might have I might have actually added your number, but if you haven't added my, my number, this number, then um, you won't unfortunately be getting the broadcast um, information. And so I want to just again encourage you to to uh, let us know um, and we'll help you however we can. The other the other forms of inf of um, communication we currently have we've been working hard on is the SMS uh, communication and you'll you most likely would have received the bulk SMS information um, from the church um, or information via the SMS and um, you know again if you haven't then please let us know so that we can ensure that our database is correct. Lastly I also wanted to mention that we've had to look at our pastoral care in a very different way uh, due to this um, crisis. And um, we've worked hard on, on making sure that firstly, everyone that are in growth groups, that are in um, some sort of ministry is being connected by the, by the leader of that team, of that ministry, and that people are actually able to uh, communicate where they're at, explain, you know, whether there are needs and these needs are then being brought back to us um, as the leadership so that we can actually see how we can meet these needs. And I'm going to explain a little bit about some of the ways that we've initiated to meet some of the needs within the church. Um, the other, the other, the other uh, thing that we've initiated as well is um, obviously those that are not in growth groups, those that are not involved in any sort of ministry. Um, we've, we've, we've got our pastoral team um, phoning and just getting hold of people so that we just want to make sure that everyone is uh, looked after during this time. Everybody's doing well. That everybody, um, if there are needs, that we are able to meet those needs. I want to speak about two specific needs that we are looking specifically at as a community. Number one, the 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 need for spiritual input. Now, this is important, and as I said, the church is the only entity that is able to provide spiritual input. the The government's role is not to provide spiritual input, but the government's role is to provide um, security leadership economic um, input but we have the responsibility as the church to to give spiritual input and spiritual guidance and therefore we looked at these platforms of facebook and youtube and other platforms online 
um, to be able to send out the word of God. And again, I want to highlight this because if you're not able to get any of this or you know of people in our church that are not able to get it, that you please let us know. We will try our best to help you, whether it's data related or how, whatever, um, even if it you know means that we have to work on other mediums to get the word of God to you. But this is, this is important for us. And so we want to make sure that everybody is still receiving um, um, the word of God, they're still receiving teachings and, um, and other spiritual input. Secondly, we're also looking at uh, physical needs. Now, within our church, we've realized that um, everyone, you know, is, is impacted by this um, crisis in some way or other, and some are impacted financially. And so as the community, as the, the church, it is important, I believe, that as we read in the book of Acts, you know, um, and I know I spoke about this in the beginning of the year, about koinonia, and the fact that koinonia, um, that, that means a, a, a supernatural unity that results in partnering and in sharing. And so part of being a devoted community is that we are able to meet the needs of those that are, in, um, that are, that are struggling right now. And it's important that we meet those needs within our community I want to I want to say this, and and I do want to emphasize this that there are many needs out there, and I know it's um, as a church, and I'll speak a little bit about that as well. That we are making an effort to reach outside as well, that we can reach our communities out outside of church, those that are in need outside of the church. But we can't reach out if we're not willing to reach in, and so we've we've made. Um, We've made some some um, adjustments uh, in order to improve our reach within our community and meeting those needs. Firstly, you'd have um, noticed that uh, in the last couple of weeks, we've put out an information about an email, pastoral email, as well as we've told our leaders to, to make sure that when they hear of needs, they notify us because we're also aware that some people might not be able to email us. And so if you have a need, please, Either email us or WhatsApp us or let your leader know. And um, there are two specific things we're looking at in terms of physical needs. Number one, we are looking at uh, data because we realize how difficult it is for some people just to be able to watch a YouTube clip or go, on, go online onto Facebook. And so we want to make sure that we are able to meet that need. And so when you notify us, um, let us know if it's data that you need and we'll, we'll help you um, to get that as much as we can. And then the second thing that we also um, want to, I want to emphasize is that we, we have, we realized that in this crisis, People are going to be struggling to get food, the essentials of food. And so what we've done, and we've been able to help a few people in the last couple of weeks within our community, um, we've, we've actually looked at, um, at partnering with uh, Jesus in Action because we realized, firstly, we know Jesus in Action. We've been working with him for a while. Um, we've also realized that what they're doing is, is a, a much better approach than trying to meet um, one need for the whole month. So they're doing weekly um, food parcels. And so what we've done is we've partnered with them to help them further that, that, that um, initiative, as well as in, in return, we are able to send through all the needs within this church. As they come in, we're sending it to Jesus in action, a list of names of those people that are in need right now. And what, what Jesus in Actions, action is doing is that they are making these boxes, returning it to us, and then we are distributing back to those that have communicated with us their needs. And it's been a great initiative. It's been really helpful. Um, we've, we've been able to meet the regular needs now on a weekly basis, where before we could only as a community meet needs on a monthly basis. And this is important, guys, because I know that um, there are many initiatives out there and, and it's great. Um, in, in our, what we are thinking and why we're seeing it is that in helping Jesus in action, we're not only helping our community, but we are actually helping them reach even others outside of our community. And so I want to encourage you, if you are able to help with that, if you're able to give towards that, please uh, feel free just to um, um, do it through our church's banking details and to reference it as 
pastoral care. And then we will then allocate that towards the, um, those physical needs that we have right now within our community. I want, I want to say that being inward focus and being outward focus are both important. But one cannot only think outside if one is not willing or able to meet the needs within the community. And so we want to do both and we want to do both really well. And so I wanted to share that uh, this morning because I felt that it's important for you to know where we are at. That we will be continuing uh, furthering the, the president's speech or two speeches this week. Um, we'll obviously be continuing with our online um, sermons, our online services. And I'm hoping that you've been enjoying it. Um, I've also, we've also spoken to our worship leaders and they're working very hard on getting the worship um, online as well. And so we'll be, we'll be progressing on that in the next couple of weeks, as well as our Bible study that we started on Thursday. And I'm excited to see how many of you have tuned in. Um, it's, it's really a, a tool for, you, for us to be able to grow in the Word of God. And, and I want to encourage you um, to come alongside and, and just be part of it. Because when you're studying the Word of God and, and you have the right tools, you're going to find that you're going to find the treasures within the Word. And so um, we've kicked off this week with the Old Testament uh, survey. And we'll continue next week um, with a couple of more sessions on the Old Testament survey. And then we're going to be looking at various other topics that I believe will help you to grow in your walk with God and um, particularly in the time that we find ourselves. And so I wanted to communicate those things to you this morning before we go into the Word. I pray that you have a blessed time as you listen to part two of the humanity and divinity of Christ.